New tonight, News 12 cameras capturing red zone schools in Rockland and Orange appearing to ignore those executive orders to shut down or face fines. And now Governor Cuomo is doubling down, saying he is withholding state funds from violators. News 12 Samantha Crawford joins us now with the latest from Ramapo. Sam. Hi everyone, we saw firsthand what Governor Cuomo was talking about earlier today. There was one Orthodox Jewish school bus after another, after another. Some of them with the names of the school on them, which we did trace back to being located within red zones. And they were also dropping off students that lived in the red zone of Muncie. Take a look at what we captured. Parents meeting their kids at the school bus as they come home. Some of the school buses were packed with kids in nearly every row, and some of the children did not have their masks properly on. Cuomo saying today if yeshivas don't comply and refuse to go remote, he will have to pull state funding. He also pointed a finger of blame at local municipalities for not enforcing the cluster rules, saying they too will lose funding. Many schools receive uh, funding. Yeshivas res receive a significant amount of funding. I, in past budgets, increased funding to yeshivas. According to Yafed, a Jewish education activism group, yeshivas receive millions in state funding each year for various programs. Many New York State yeshivas also operate as child care for younger children and receive $120 million annually in separate subsidies for that. Yossi Gestetner, a co-founder of the Orthodox Jewish Public Affairs Council, says Cuomo keeps changing the rules and targeting his community. In late July, Governor Cuomo tweeted that schools need to close only if a region, not a zip code, if a region is at 9%. So how are we closing schools in Rockland County? Cuomo saying today the positivity rate in Rockland County is 7.2%. We're in the town of Ramapo, Samantha Crawford, News 12.